Hi guys, I'm so glad you tuned in. If you're new to my channel, or if you're returning, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Make sure you set your settings to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment and I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you three spring DIYs. DIY number one, the spring wreath. So today I'm going to be using this 10 inch embroidery hoop to make my wreath. This is going to be the base. I got this embroidery hoop, I believe, from Joanne Crafts a long time ago. I do not know how much I paid for it, and I'm sure I had a coupon. These are the one inch, sliced in half. I got these from um, Amazon uh, a little while ago when I got my other wooden beads that I made my wooden garland with. Um, I'll link that video up above. So I got those all at about the same time. It was a little while ago, but I'm going to use these today to decorate the hoop. And I'm going to be using these flowers here. And um, as usual, my flowers usually come from Joanne Crafts or Michaels. And these came from Joanne. These came from Joanne Crafts. And these came from Michaels. And I'm probably going to, I, I'm considering putting a bird in the center. And this is a hummingbird. And I got this hummingbird from Joanne Crafts. And I'm gonna have to put some paper underneath me because again, I am not the neatest person with glue. I tend to make a mess. Since we're all stuck in the house and we're bored to death, I am currently uh, creating my DIYs and my home decor from my stash and shopping my home. Uh, it's lots of fun, but I do miss being outside some. I am, um, Never thought that I'd miss exercise as much as I do, but I do. I'm a little bummed over the fact that had I known this, I probably would have been able to get some big projects done. Uh, I guess it worked out for my husband because had I known, I'd have, you know, got some big projects taken care of. I'd have got some things painted. I'd have got some things stripped. I really would have taken advantage of this time better than I am. Anywho. Okay, so I'm going to take these beads all the way to almost to the bottom but not quite to the bottom because I'm not going to waste beads that are going to be hidden underneath the uh, flowers so the flowers are going to come out to a certain point and I'm going to take I'm going to take the beads to meet the flowers I don't necessarily want to waste beads that's going to be sitting under the flowers Now it's time to add the flowers. I love these picks. I really enjoy the picks at Joanne Fabrics. C crafts, rather. I'm gonna take and put a generous amount of hot glue. I'm just gonna take a little uh, floral wire for a little, a little added stain power. DIY number two, the spring lantern. This lantern is something that I've had for quite some time and I can't remember where I got it from, um, but it's an indoor outdoor lantern. Um, the Easter eggs I got from the Dollar Tree. The moss is something that I probably got from a combination of the Dollar Tree, 
but mostly Joanne Crafts and the bunny pot is something that you've seen in a previous DIY that I did that I'll link that above as well so I'm just gonna drop this part down in the bottom because I need a base for the bunny pot and try and maintain that hole if I can and I also want to make sure that I keep some of the green where you can see it I like that variegated look I'm trying to hide the pot as much as I can to make it look like she is really rooting in there and I think I got it Oh, I think that's cute. And then I'm going to take some butterflies that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree a very long time ago. I don't even know if they still sell them. And DIY number three. A spring greeting card. And once you've got it scored, and then that the scoring line just keeps it from cracking when you crease it. It gives you that crisp edge. I wanted to stamp the wheelbarrow. All right. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it came out perfect. I took my distressed oxide ink and created a background panel. So I'm just going to stamp my flowers onto here to give me that colorful variegated look. And then I'll use my die cuts to cut it out. Same thing with the wheelbarrow. Um, that's why I did it on brown paper so that I can just use my die cuts to cut it out. This here, I don't have to use this whole panel, therefore I can save this panel for another project. But I am going to stamp it in the areas that I want to get the flower color. So I want a little blue, a little purple, a little pink, and a little bit of yellow. Just like that. I think that's good. So I got all my die cuts cut out. I have my die cut flowers, my die cut wheelbarrow, and my die cut grass. Now I'm going to ink a cloud scene on my card base. I'm going to use Salty Ocean.
perfect. Happy spring. <laughs> And that's going to be my son. Which DIY did you like the best? The wreath? The lantern? Or the greeting card? I like them all. But I'm kind of partial to that wreath. But I like the greeting card too. Tell me, what do you think? Leave me a comment. Again, I thank you all so much for tuning in today. For all my returning subscribers, I thank you so much. I appreciate you and I appreciate your support during these times. And for all my new subscribers, welcome. And thanks for subscribing. And welcome to the Creative Glam Team. I appreciate your support too. Make sure you come back and tune in. I upload new videos every week. Check out one of my playlists. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And at the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one of those links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Change that setting to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!